Um, but we do also know that there are other groups in society who suffer inequality and deserve to have their rights become the reality much more consistently. We already know that there have been calls to enact the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, CEDAW, and also to bring into Welsh law the UN Convention on the Rights of Disabled People. But acting upon the cases made for legislation put forward on behalf of different groups would risk a piecemeal approach to legislation. And I think an uneven approach would be confusing to the public bodies who have duties put on them, as it would be for the people of Wales. As a Welsh Government, we are also concerned that, following Brexit, uh, the UK Government may well seek to weaken or even repeal the UK Human Rights Act. Here today, it's not possible to foresee whether these concerns will come to fruition. But as a Government, we must take an approach which gives flexibility to respond to these potential circumstances. And I see that all these arguments are arguments for taking a more ambitious, holistic approach to legislating for human rights that is proofed against potential circumstances. So to develop our preferred approach, steps have already been taken towards commissioning independent research to examine how we can incorporate the seven UN rights treaties and the UN principles for older people into Welsh law.